I'm a published American mangaka. And for those of you who don't know what that means, that means that I make manga for a living. I am published and you can actually find my manga in stores like Barnes and Nobles and Amazon. And of course on my website, sacredthemanga.com. I created this channel to help people like you reach your dreams by teaching you guys how to draw, how to make your own manga and comics, and how to get published. And of course, I have some nerdy vlogs and reviews thrown in there too. Today's video is really, really, really highly requested by you guys here on YouTube, on Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, all these different places, and it was all because of this picture. So if you follow me on any of those social media places, you've probably seen this post. And it basically shows a bunch of pictures from 1999 that I drew compared to pictures I've drawn here in 2015 and 14. And the comments I got from you guys were so inspiring and so touching. People saying that they almost gave up on drawing until they saw how much I improved since 1999. So it gave them like new hope. It really, really touched my heart to know that my artwork or this little post could do that for people. And so, since that post, there are three types of videos that you guys have been requesting, and they are a video explaining how I developed my own style, a video explaining how I practice so that others can improve their art, and a video showing a bunch of my artwork from when I was a kid to now to show all of my progress. And not to worry, I'm going to do all three of those videos because I think that they'll be really helpful for you guys and hopefully it'll inspire you guys to keep on trying hard and working hard and doing your best to make your art exactly what you want it to be. But today we're just going to do one video and that video is my friends, how to develop your own style. This seems to be really important for you guys, so I'm going to tackle this one first. So. I thought it would be really, really fun to be able to tell you guys how I developed my own style and how you can do the same while watching me actually redrawing one of the pictures that was actually from that post. This is the drawing that I'll be redoing in this video. So you'll be able to see this drawing throughout the video as I'm working on the new updated version in my present style. So it was actually really cool to see that myself, so hopefully you guys will get a kick out of it and it'll inspire you guys and maybe you'll go pick up one of your old drawings and redraw it so that you can show yourself how much you've improved. Mm hmm? Good idea? Yeah? I think so. Now remember, if you like this video and find it helpful or even a little entertaining, I would really appreciate you guys giving it a thumbs up because it really, really inspires me to keep working hard on these videos that I recreate with all my heart to help you guys. So to show me your support, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this or you want to see how to make manga videos, how to draw videos, and um, how to get published videos, please be sure to subscribe. So now that we got all of that out of the way, let's get started. I have been drawing my entire life. Drawing has been a very big part of who I am and I always knew that my career would have something to do with art. I just didn't know what it was until I learned about Dragon Ball Z and then I realized what I wanted to do was make manga. So I'm pretty sure you guys can see the Dragon Ball Z influence in the old drawing that I'm actually redoing in this video. And this goes right into my very first tip. Tip number one, try not to copy the artwork or art styles of other artists. This is extremely important for multiple reasons. One being that you're basically stealing someone else's art style and that's absolutely a terrible thing to do. Because remember, they make a living off of having their own unique art style, so try not to steal someone else's style. Two, you may think the artwork is really beautiful and perfect, so you want to draw just like them. But in reality, they may actually make a lot of mistakes in their artwork, and by copying their work, you may just be learning all of their bad habits. And number three, you never give yourself a chance to develop your own unique style because you're too busy looking at someone else's work and trying to master someone else's style. 
When I was younger, my goal was to draw just like Akira Toriyama, the mangaka of Dragon Ball Z. I struggled every day to draw just like him, but my hand simply did not agree. My hand kept on wanting to draw full lips, little nostrils, rounder faces, thin bodies. It just really wanted to draw something completely different than what Dragon Ball Z looked like. And I hated that for a very long time. That was until I realized that because I had been drawing Dragon Ball Z characters for so long, that it actually limited my ability to draw other types of bodies. So I began to do something else. I began to embrace what my hand wanted to draw and little by little over the years I mastered thin bodies. Tip number two, understand that developing your own drawing style is like developing your own writing style. What I mean by this is, what kindergartner out there is learning their ABCs and learning to write and is thinking to themselves, oh, I want to write in this style. No, every kindergartner is just trying to learn the basics. They're simply focusing on learning all the letters, they're focusing on being able to write all the letters properly, and they're focusing on spelling their words properly. Handwriting only comes over time as they get used to writing their letters. You understand what I'm trying to say? It's the same thing for artists. Once you learn the basics, your style begins to shine through. So this goes into my very next step, which is don't focus on developing a drawing style, focusing on sharpening your drawing skills. So just like the kindergartner who's only focusing on learning to write properly and is focusing on learning to write their letters properly, you as an artist should not be focusing on the style you want to create. Focus on technical skills. Anatomy, proportions, perspective, shading, these are the things that you need to focus on. I know that having your own unique style is what everyone wants, but do you know what? Tip number four, having a drawing style doesn't necessarily make you a good artist. What makes you a good artist is your vision, the ideas you come up with, your ability to tell a story through your artwork, anatomy, perspective, proportions, shading, having a good handle on drawing objects, drawing the human form, so on and so forth, drawing folds properly. Put this all together and you have a person who can be seen as a good or even a great artist. So focus on the basics, focus on your technical skills, and over time, your style will develop. It's a struggle at first. It's very hard at first getting anatomy down, proportions down, but over time, you will get it right. And the more you practice every day, the easier it becomes to you. And the easier it gets, you'll begin to see your own unique style shine through. It takes time, but your style will come. But it will only come once you've mastered or at least have a good handle on the basics. Tip number five, don't just focus on one kind of art. Expose yourself to and study all types of art. I bring this up because lots of people, especially those who are into anime and manga or who are really into cartoons in general, tend to be really opposed to drawing from life or drawing real people. And you know what? I understand how you guys feel. Drawing real people, drawing from life, 
studying other styles of artwork from the Renaissance, from the modern era, so on and so forth, the more you expose yourself to, the more knowledge you gain, and the more knowledge you gain, the more it will affect your artwork in a positive way. You need to look at sculptures, you need to go to the museum, really expose yourself to beautiful, creative art and help yourself grow as an artist. Tip number six, get out of your comfort zone. You're limiting yourself. This is kind of um, similar to tip number five in a sense, but what I'm saying here is you need to draw things that you're not used to. This includes drawing from life, drawing real life things, but it also means if you find anything difficult to draw, like hands or feet, guess what? It is time to go and draw some hands and feet. You can draw your own hands, you can draw your own feet, or ask someone else to pose for you. The whole point is you need to go out there and you need to draw it. You need to teach yourself. You need to go out there and draw from real life. I study from life a lot. I will study people's clothes. I will bunch up a blanket and draw the blanket. You really need to study a lot and you need to expose yourself to more artwork. That's what it means to be an artist. Nothing is easy. Everything is a challenge. Everything that you learn is a victory. So get out of your comfort zone and go draw things you're not used to because until you master these things, you're not gonna be able to fully develop your own unique drawing style because your skills are limited. So be sure to practice, practice, practice and get out of your comfort zone. Tip number seven, study from life. What I mean by this is, if you wanna learn how to draw something like shoes or clothes or something like that, or flowers, you have to learn to draw these things from real life. Do not learn to draw flowers and whatnot from someone else's drawing. That's a simplified version of the actual thing. So go out there and draw real flowers. Go out there and draw real clothes. That's the only way you're really going to learn anything. If you keep drawing things straight from cartoons, you're only gonna limit yourself. Go draw some real people, some real flowers, and you'll see how much your skills will improve. Just like I said earlier, do not draw from other people's illustrations because you're going to learn their mistakes, you're going to pick up on their bad habits, and you're never going to develop your own skills. So go out there, develop your own skills, and draw from life. Ask your friends to pose for you. I did it all the time. And it really, really works. It's the best thing to do for yourself. And last but not least, tip number eight, draw every day and really make it count. Make sure that you're drawing every day at least for a half an hour. I know I said this in my how to stay motivated video, but try to draw things that you find very difficult. Like I said before, if you find drawing folds difficult, hands or feet difficult, take this time every day to study these things. Really draw them. Draw from your own hands and feet. Draw other people's hands and feet. Just do it and practice it until you get it right. I drew every single day for at least two hours, every single day drawing the exact same poses over and over again because you know what? I did not want to be limited. I wanted true artistic freedom and the ability to draw whatever my heart desired. 
and you guys can do that too. But you need to put the work in. So if you want to develop your own unique drawing style, you need to put in the time, you need to put in the hard work, and you need to be consistent and draw every single day. It doesn't need to feel like work. Make it fun. Draw an entire illustration if you want, but make sure that you incorporate things that are difficult for you. That way, your drawing can be a challenge and you can actually push yourself to become a better artist. I really hope that all of my tips were useful for you guys, and I hope that this will help you on your artistic journey, guys. Good luck, guys! After watching that video, how does that make you feel? Does it make you think about your own work? Does it make you feel like, oh my gosh, it took her a while to actually get a handle on her own style. I don't feel as bad that it's taking me so long to develop my style. I want to know how it makes you feel. I want to know if this video inspired you. I want to know if it makes you not feel as bad because I think a lot of young artists are really hard on themselves especially nowadays that we're so exposed to social media and we can see other people's artwork and compare it to our own I feel like young people are really asking too much of themselves and for artists it's also really really difficult because as an artist you have the natural urge to want to be better and be the best and to feel like you don't really live up to your own expectations can be really, really hard. But you know what? It takes a long time to develop your own style. It takes time. Everything takes time. It takes time for a seed to grow into a tree. You have to understand that, you know? It seems really hard right now, but I'm telling you, it gets easier. Just focus on enjoying your art, improving your art, and enjoying seeing it blossom and bloom into a rose. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Don't worry about it. Don't focus so much on it, guys, okay? Don't be so hard on yourselves. So, again, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, inspiring, entertaining, or just anything good, I would really appreciate a big thumbs up, guys. It only takes a little moment of your time, and it really means a lot to me and gives me a lot of encouragement. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any more tutorials or fun nerdy vlogs, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Thursday. So until next time guys, please take care, God bless, and do not be afraid to nerd out. Take care guys!